No, two is the best beer. So first beer. So what we're saying here is you're not already drunk. This is what I'm saying. If I'm stupid, this is as stupid as I am. Before I've been drinking, so I'm actually once I have been drinking. Okay. So Francis. <laughs> Listen to you asking a question of you. Go on. Yes, I am. Yes. Oh, Tell me about history. Uh, Charles Dickens. He 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 is history. Yes. Yeah. Bold so I say history, your first thought is Charles Dickens. Why, why is that? Him. Okay, so you know a lot about him. Um, what kind of time period did Charles Dickens live in? 1812 to 1870. The 1800s. Okay. So, what century would that be? The 18th century. Okay. So what about further back history than the 18th century? Further back? Mm. Um, What's the earliest thing known to man? Now, Isn't it like the Bible really, isn't it? Isn't it really? I would have gone with the Big Bang, but... Would you play the Bible? If I was cold? To keep warm. Mm -hmm. Would you burn... God wouldn't want me to be cold. No, no, would you burn like um, your favourite book of all time or your favourite scripts before you burn the Bible? If, like, say it was like the Ice Age again, there was no electricity or no nothing and you couldn't, and that was the only thing you had, your best favourite scripts or the Bible? So if I had to burn my favourite scripts or the Bible, which one would I burn? Because mm -hmm. think of it this way the Bible might bring some kind of comfort when you're in need. When you're surely, I would just burn what's not my favorite thing to read, so that would be the Bible. Yeah, but then if you need something to turn to, something to make you maybe you still know. got my favorite scripts. Okay, so say there was very few people on the earth. Change the conversation, sorry. That's fine. It, go does, on. it does go on to it, and you're one the only survivors, but the other people they didn't know much, they, didn't, they never even heard of the Bible or any other religion. Would you start your own religion and give the biggest like book and be the best person that like, ever sold? Or do you think that's the way it began? <clears throat> the Bible, you see, story. I reckon, to be perfectly honest, mm -hmm. in the thousands of years since the Bible was written, I reckon that guy's still not getting royalties. Probably not. <laughs> Tell me about the Battle of Hastings. What do you want to know where to start? Between eight, it was in Hastings, it's bad. Right. Was it a battle? No, they're not closing the title, yeah. Okay. 1066, it's quite good. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Who was it between? Well, obviously, obviously the Hastings. Hastings. Oh, of the Hastings and yeah. Indians. The Hastingsians. To be honest, I haven't got a clue. Okay. Shit schools. So let's move on to another school subject. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> How do you feel about biology? Biology, the human body and... Included, yes. How, <laughs> how do you feel about biology? Um, give, give me a fact, a biological fact. Biological fact. What do you think? That's a good one. That's fine, we've got Or anyone. <laughs> no, I can't think of one. Okay. Any other science? Chemistry? Chemistry, yeah. Tell me about the periodic table. It's nothing to do with women. That's a pH and stuff like that. Just like different elements and... What element is pH? Peroxide, no. Okay. Is it peroxide? Yeah. No. What does it say? What, what is the lightest element? The lightest? The one, atomic number one. Probably, yeah. Air is quite light, and it is an element. It is. It's not an element, it's a combination of elements. Hydrogen would be an element. Oxygen, nitrogen, mm -hmm. kind of a mix of them for air. Physics, yeah, let's go to physics. Something cosmic, something big. Physics. Planets, universes, galaxies, wormholes, time travel. Well. Apparently the universe is getting bigger. The universe is expanding. 
Do you know why we know the universe is expanding? Red shift, shift, blue shift. Away. Yes. I know the nothing in physics that I don't know much about the okay. universe than I know now. Well, we've got a subject you don't know much about. Yeah, well, I don't know a lot about it, but I know something. One second, can I get two beers? You may. Although, apparently, a bloke, originally, when he was a little boy, his uh, dad died and his mum died. So, he was always interested in the aspect of time travel. So, he could go meet him and uh, okay. get to know him properly. And one thing he concentrated on was he majored in time travel, I think it was, because like, he was doing loads of experiments and stuff like that. And he comes to the conclusion. Majored in time travel. Well, you can major in time travel. Major a lot of things. Major in much car, can't you? Stupid little thing, but But um, yeah, he majored in um, the time travel, maybe around them kind of aspects, and he had like experimentation and stuff, but obviously he never could time travel. Because of... Didn't tell you, did you? Well, he doesn't think it's impossible. If he wins the lottery, I'd start getting suspicious. If someone says they're trying to you know, invent a time travel machine, you go, oh, sorry, it's failed. But, uh, okay. won the lottery. You start getting a bit, a bit suspicious. Yeah, but he said... You didn't win the lottery, did he? No, he didn't. He said, though, it wasn't impossible to do time travel, but I it was impossible to go back to the time when his parents was alive, sadly, which is the reason why he did it in the first place. <clears throat> if I tell you, there are approximately... 6,000 known languages, because right. obviously you get random languages in random places in the middle of it. Yeah, exactly, in random tribes, different places. So 6,000, I believe that's distinct languages mm -hmm. in the world. How many countries would you estimate there are? Wow. Well. This is our geography lesson. I'd say about 3,000 then. 3,000. Okay. The, the actual number is just under 200 countries. That's your geography. On the, along the same lines, along the same geography lines, Right. what is an oxbow lake? What? An oxbow lake. Think you might have English. Okay. Mm. This should be this should be okay for you because you speak it. Yeah. How many letters are there in the standard English alphabet? Twenty-seven. Okay. You right? No. How many words are there? I mean, you've got to be approximate because obviously new words are yeah being made mm. being created or ordered every day. Um, how many words are there approximately in the English language? Say so dictionary. Go, we'll go with dictionary. If sitting with dictionaries like that, and so about 300 pages, maybe, 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 maybe a few more. And I'd say you probably get around about 12 words with descriptive meaning on each page. So what, 300 times 12? Yeah. Which would be what? I'll shout that. <laughs> I'm, I'm really dyslexic with maths. 3,600. Right. So, 3,600 words. I'm dyslexic with everything comes to maths, so I can't work that quickly. I'll have to literally... Don't worry, maths is the next subject. With, with, since you mentioned it, maths. Don't remind I'm quite dyslexic on when it comes to... How many times tables are there? Numerologically. It is 12 times table. There are 12, 12, uh, there are 12 times tables. Yeah. Um, and how high do they go? There's actually more than 12 times tables, isn't it? It's really stupid. There's actually 12 times tables. Uh... Okay, I'm not only just lazy, I'm probably numerologic. As I said, words are being created every day in the yeah. English language. Okay. How, how do you feel about algebra? No, uh, not so good. How do you feel about differential equations? Mm -hmm. uh, he's a guy that ran for Prime Minister last year. I think it's like... Did you go to like... Um, a school? No, obviously not a school, but did you go to like... Um, 
Scobot, Pink Notes, and Little Titan. A good school? The grammar school. Is that what you learn English? How many types of triangle are there? How many types? Like named triangle. A rectangle, triangle. So there's a rectangle, a triangle. I'm trying to look at a single one. Okay, I was thinking more along the lines of scalene, isosceles. Wow. Right, there's one more type. What's the what's the other type? Octangle. Octangle. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about maths? No, this is one hell of a subject. Mmm. There are quite a lot of numbers. Good. What is the square root of sixteen? Square root of sixteen. I think I'll take it. Music. Did you ever take music lessons? Mm, no, I didn't. Did you ever do it as a class at school? Mm. Yeah, we used to hide in the drum to get out of music class because I was really bad. Okay, so how many notes are there in an octave? I'm not because I don't know nothing about music. Okay, name a note. I was going to say something stupid then. What were you going to say? I was going to say C. That is really stupid. <laughs> wow. I would have gone with A, to be honest, but um, C, that's just... No, no? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> no, because I thought like a note on the keyboard, it's like C, now, Yeah, that's e, right. C, D, E, like F, G. Easy. How high does it go? F. Right? So we know C is a note. Right. Okay. So if I was to say, right. would, would this be accurate if I was to say I'm going to play music in the key of C? No. Okay, why not? Because C is like basically the Water. note is not key as such. Okay. I don't know much about it, but that's not the key. Okay, what other School subjects are there. PE. Do a star oh, jump. Uh, I was there a reason not to do PE. Sounds like you had a reason not to do a lot of subjects. I studied art, but... Art. So what practical tips could you give different. me as a budding artist? Um, I wasn't very good at it, but just do random stuff. Don't try and be like anyone else. Just but take ideas from other people, but make them your own. Play See twice. how you can, yeah. Okay. Although it's in the side, took cooking as well. With my you took cooking as well. But is that yeah, why you're such a good cook? I'm not a good cook, but you had. What to, did you learn how to make? Uh, this is gonna make you laugh. You had a. You had to pick what you wanted to do, okay? <laughs> With like between what kind of which one do ready meals or you know do this or you know like. You took a cookery class to make ready meals. No, no, I'm saying you had to like specialist subjects. Right, so you had to specialise in... Well, I didn't do specialise actually. I was at a pet lunch from one of school, right? And that kind of pissed me off a bit because... Who wants packet crisps and stuff like that for lunch? It's not, you know, you some cot and stuff. I like crisps. So, my idea was, when they said you can choose a subject, it was fast food, like burgers, Chips. And surprisingly, I only got away with getting away with cooking burgers and chips in most lessons. But I had to make the burgers myself. I had to cut the <laughs> So you, you'd really make stupid. it from the mince? Yeah, well, you wouldn't make it from you'd put it together, put flavour in it. So how often would you do the cooking class for your fast food specialism? Once a week. Okay. So the people that specialise in ready meals, you take them, what, three minutes in the microwave? Or? Yeah, there's like, they have to do more of the history of the ready meals. The history of the ready meals. Oh, oh like, that's how, a how, how, how would we come up with it? That's what they're teaching in school nowadays, apparently. Yeah. Hastings? No. No. Uh, history of ready meals? Ash and Core? Huh? No. no Apparently no. not. Periodic tables? No. What is a synonym? Huh? A synonym. You're talking about safe education. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what it is. Sex ed. We never did it. You can teach yourself, don't you? It's about this woman, she's like, I'm now 30. I had the first child when I was 15. So the eldest is like... Sorry, come in. It's good. 
So the oldest is like 15, obviously. Maths is not so bad, isn't it? Yeah, not so bad. Just double the number. Like, times two is the number. Different thing. You know what I mean? How she's just had a boob job and she's paid for a boob job. Half of which is that she paid with uh, government state money. The other half she paid on credit card, which she will pay the credit card with government state money. As she said, in all fairness, she does actually dress her children with like fashionable clothes as well because they can't have any old thing. Of course they can't. And they can well, down, she's had they? about, well, she doesn't like that as such. Of course she doesn't. And uh, she said, She's stupid. And she said, she never worked a day in her life as where her mum was um, one of them people that get people back to work. <coughs> irony. I know, irony of it. And she's saying, and she thinks it's foolish of all us lot to work to keep her. So, if you had one useful piece of advice or learning that you, as your it's current so self, could tell to know where this is going. yourself as a kid. Tell myself as so, a kid. imagine you were face to face with yourself at however old you would want to have had sexual education, 13, 10, whatever. Not 13, 10, obviously. Yeah. It's not quite that like amazing. Um, what happened in 1310? Don't know. Okay, so, so people had sex in 1310 yeah. was the answer. So what would you tell your younger self? Don't ever go out anywhere where you don't where you don't have a way of getting home so you have to stay at someone's house. Okay. Don't go and stay at someone's house where they chase each other around the house with knives. Which was a bit crazy as a whoa, what the hell? You had to be taught that? And um, well there was like no doors on the on the house. They had no doors. They took all the doors off, and it was actually like cold. <clears throat> but then, like about about maybe three months later, they was they appeared on the neighbors from hell. Amazing. So, correct me if I'm wrong. This has nothing to do with sex ed. No, go on. What was that? The, I was the, I was the topic saying, was yeah. sex education. It was sex, it was, well, in the way it was, like something you would teach yourself if you could go back. Not necessarily in a sex ed class. Maybe not. No, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of actual sex education. What would you like to have known rather than have to have taught yourself? Like, you know, there are kids out there, um, in the internet, there are kids out there that know nothing about sex. Well, they've got the internet, so they probably do know a lot about sex. Yeah. But Imagine a kid, first time on the internet, they're like, oh, I've heard about this sex thing, I'm going to Google it. I'd they come up with a video of you talking about one thing about sexual, sexual education. What is it? I'd rather go into the whole sexual education thing, because it wouldn't be fair on Jill, for example, to know to be like discuss anything about sex or if you like to come back. Plus, if I was to ever further my career in acting. I wouldn't want this video to be found and it me sound something really stupid about sex, so yeah. I'm not gonna go That's there. True. I would have just gone with use a condom. But Yeah that would be a good one but stolen it's mine. Let's have one more lesson subject. Right. What other lessons are there? The news. If you were teaching a lesson today, a news lesson, what would you be teaching right now? Well I try and tell. I try Mr. Bethel, what's on the, what's the subject today? Yeah, but I would like to try and make sure people do that face. <laughs> I'd like to make sure people. It's my like, face, sir. I like to make sure people don't discriminate against other cultures. So I, sometimes I get caught up in a mess myself. For example, you go to Dubai, you can't kiss in public, right? So then, why can't we impose our certain laws on? Other people. You can't say that, mate. Did you ever study any languages? Okay, I did French up until the uh, from year seven to the year nine. Okay, so two they years. They told me. Three. Put your focus on. So I said to them, um, "Well, I'm not going to um, ever live in France anyway." But in French. So it doesn't matter. I said to me, "This is I'm never going to live in France. It doesn't really matter anyway." 
and uh, subject face painting lessons instead, which is kind of stupid. Because what's going to let you take face painting painting lessons instead of French? It wasn't the GCSE. I know it was stupid. I had to go to college one day a week. It was a bit more stupid. So now you've lived here for what two years? Two years, yeah. What have you picked up? Um, well, we always pick up the bad words first. Very good. So give me a sentence in French. Uh, Amour, photo, avec, les. Okay, that's not bad, is it? Is there not one sentence that you could say from start to finish? Well, yeah. Um, dog about ketchup. See me play. <laughs> so what we've got there is you've learnt the French for with. Oh, and grand coca. Yeah. And. Large coke. And please. Yeah. Okay. Is it right to give an English person a radio when I'm not going to use it in the first place? Because I'm not going to understand what you're saying to me. I think it's racist, to be honest. Yeah. Not racist, I think it's outrageous. I think the audience would agree. Well, it's not. Just, just don't give an English person a radio if they don't speak French. No, but if you're in France and they're speaking all the time in French, if it was an important thing being said in the radio, how are you going to know it's if it's in French if you don't understand it? Your training was great, wasn't it? Well, it's give you the numbers, like, yeah, say this number, say that number. It's like, oh, well done, you passed. You well, you can do it back at Van Sank. Nice, nice. Yeah, and like, they spell the thing more so. It's like, you know, these slices are the same as 10 something. I just know the number is basically 1065. One of Hastings. There we go. That's, that's it, yeah. And on that note, I'm going to do the washing up. Cheers, man. I'm going to stop now. I don't think I can take any more.